Hey, welcome back. This is Mike. In today's video, we're going to take a look at styled components. This will be part one of styled components. We're going to take the website we've been working on, this, this amazing counter, uh, and we're going to put uh, make this into a card and center it on the screen using uh, styled components. All right, first I want to point out a mistake I made on the first video of getting started with React. Um, and it was, I was deleting uh, several things to kind of slim down our, where we're starting. Um, and I, I took out this viewport, viewport meta uh, here. And this is a must have, you need this in your code. So be sure to put this line back in your index.html file uh, so that the browser is able to resize your app to uh, take this screen width. All right, next we need to go ahead and open up a new terminal session. And I need to do a yarn add. So yarn add, and we want uh, styled components. And the other one we need is react dash is. So now you can see we have both styled components in our package.json file and React is, um, along with our starting packages, React, React-DOM, and uh, React-Scripts. All right, in order to get started with uh, styled components, I want to go ahead and make a new folder called styles. So I'll do that now. So styles. And then under here, the first one I want to make is called a global style. It's a little different than a normal styled component. So I want a new global style.js file. And what I'm going to do with this is this is how we can, a global style is used in order to uh, affect things like HTML or body um, because with styled components, we typically wrap or introduce a new HTML tag, and that's how we style it. Uh, but we're unable to wrap the HTML tag or the body tag, and so the only way to affect those is with a global style. Um, and then with global style, uh, we're able to uh, basically normalize the, uh, the style of the sheet. And so by default, a lot of tags have margins and different uh, paddings and borders and we want to get rid of all that before we start so that we have kind of a blank slate in our style sheets all right so i'm going to import create global style that's going to be from the styled components package And then I can make a new one by doing uh, const, and I'll export this con this uh, variable constant, and use the function that we brought in, uh, create global style. And then we need to use these accent symbols to uh, store our style code or style properties in. All right, so we need to reset several of the properties in the uh, tags that we already have. And so this includes body, button, div, h1, and p. And if we had any others, uh, in our little web app, we don't have very many, but if we had others, and maybe by default, you would want to clear out all the possible tags that you're going to use. Um, I'll stick with these for now. And so I'm just going to go through and add, uh, zero out several properties like margin and padding. And then at the end of this, I'll add font size needs to be 
Uh, next, we can go ahead and style our HTML. And some of these I'm just going to copy in. So this I'm copying in is the border size, our box sizing. I'm going to set to border box and then font size. I like to go ahead and define it. Uh, you probably don't have to. It's uh, need a colon there. Um, by default, I believe it's 16 pixels, but uh, it's nice to just have that to make sure you you defined it. Um, the next thing I'm going to add is a um, something that will affect all tags and the before and after uh, selector um, is this box sizing inherit. And then finally, we want to change the body a little bit. Um, so in body, we've already zeroed the margin in the above code. Um, but we want to set our uh, font family, so let me copy that in. And it's quite long, so uh, I'll find a way to post this on, I guess, GitHub and uh, so that you can have this as well. All right, some of the other things I want to set include the font size. Is going to be one rem and you have the choice when you're dealing with font size like up here i said one pixel up here i said one percent you also have um, em uh, i'm going to leave this as kind of my reference and then i'll use the rest of my sizing instead of pixels i'll use rem so when we're um, doing certain uh, padding and certain uh, margins, I'll try to refer to REM rather than uh, straight pixels. And so the difference here is whenever it's a pixel, that's a standard measurement, right? Like an inch or a centimeter. Um, your browser would say, okay, this number of pixels is, is always this number of pixels. Uh, but with EM like this and REM, uh, you have REM is kind of a reference to the font size in your HTML. Um, and so again, by default, it's 16 pixels. I went ahead and set, set this. If I went in and changed this after uh, coding the rest of this, uh, the rest of the style, I could change this one value. And since everything is referencing this size, it would change the text across the entire uh, web app. So let me change that back to 16 pixels and we'll use um, REM measurements from that here on out. Font weight. Uh, I'll just set to normal, which is uh, 400. Line height will be one and a half. Another thing to point out here, um, because it's helping me a lot uh, as I mistype and, and forget things, is I have an extension running. It's called the VS Code Styled Components extension. Uh, and so this will uh, highlight your syntax um, and tell you if you've typed something wrong by uh, giving you a little bit of error. The color of the text that I want for the document is going to be um, just a dark gray. And by default, I'll align left. And finally, my background color, I want, since I'm making this into a card today, uh, I want the the background color to be kind of an off-white, and then I'll make the card white. So it gives a little bit more pop. Okay, a couple more. I want the H1 here to be um, margin bottom half REM, so that would be, what, 8 pixels. Font weight, a little bit more than normal, line height will be 1.2, and then font size is going to be a little bit bigger than normal at 2.5 REM, uh, so that would be what, 40 pixels? All right, and then my paragraph tag, I'll add a bit of margin to the bottom. One REM. 
and then for the buttons, I'm going to do a WebKit appearance as button, uh, text transform to none. Overflow visible and font family inherit. All right, so this is the global style. So again, just resetting uh, a lot of uh, properties through here and then lining up some of the tags that I'm going to use. They're just basic default style. Um, one thing to note about styled components is it takes care of a lot of the extra uh, properties for me. So um, whenever I specify, let's say, box sizing, I don't also have to specify the web kit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and import our global style and add it to the app. So here I can add an import line. Um, and one nice thing about VS Code is I don't have to specify um, the uh, what I'm importing right away. If I wait and do it after I type in, um, let's see, if I do styles and global style, now it's going to give me some IntelliSense for what's in global style as well. And so I should be able to um, do global style, there it is, and bring it in. Um, so I don't have to remember exactly how I typed it. One thing other to know about global style is um, it doesn't accept any children. And so when you add it to your app, you need to just do a self-closing tag like so. Um, finally, I want to move this. I want this amazing counter, uh, the amazing counter H1 tag to be inside the card. And I'm going to wrap the counter in a card. Uh, so I'm going to move it into my counter. And put it here. All right, so next we'll go ahead and build the card style file. So I'm going to have a new file named card.js and a new file called container.js. So container.js is going to center and size our app. Um, normally, I would do a more responsive layout for the container. We're going to keep it simple today. Um, and then the card is going to add uh, a shadow box to our uh, car or to our layout and, uh, and make it white. So first, we'll do the container here. So this time, instead of importing create uh, global style, I'm going to import styled. You can see it's a default export since I'm not using the curly braces to bring it in. And then down here, I'll define my container similar to how we did the global style. This time I'm going to use styled though. And then I, I can give um, this container a, an HTML tag to create. So in this case, I want a div to be created. So there's the accent keys. Um, and for in this example, I want, um, just keeping it simple, this isn't going to be responsive. I'm just going to make a max width of 600 pixels. Add some padding. Copy that to the right. Set the display to block. Um, let's see. And we'll do margin left will be auto, and same with margin right. And what this will do is center our content on the screen. So to implement this one is we want to wrap 
um, the Porsche, the JSX uh, with this container um, object. So if I go to the app, I can wrap counter with that container. And so I need to, there it is. But I still need to import it. So let me go and import container in. It should be in my container file. There it is. And so now we can see uh, our container is centering our, uh, our elements. So if I do F12, let's take a look at what it's added down here for us. So we have our root, and then under the root is a div. This is our container. Uh, you can see that it, it generates a class name for us. So we're not having to worry about classes and uh, class names. We can still use class names, of course, but um, it's not something we have to worry about as much, keeping those straight and making sure it coordinates um, because we're using styled components to be wrappers. And then we have what we, we've had for a while is the H1 tag, our paragraph tag, and then our buttons. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and wrap our um, counter in a card. All right. And for this card, I'm going to go ahead and copy my container and paste it in my card file. Uh, then change the name, of course, to card. It's also going to create a styled div here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste in some of my card style properties. So I have a min width set to 275 pixels. Uh, and so uh, what that does is as your screen size uh, decreases, the card will be allowed to shrink until 275 pixels. Um, so we don't want anything in the card uh, like the buttons are the biggest thing. We don't want the buttons to be more than 275 pixels if that's the case. If, it, if they are more than 275, um, then we would want to increase this. So we have four buttons. If I made them 60 pixels each, that'd be 240. Uh, this should work. Uh, now, overflow hidden. So anything outside the card we don't want to see. And also what this does is um, if it is too big for the card, it would create a scroll bar, and we don't want that. So uh, overflow hidden will keep a scroll bar from being created. This is a box shadow. I don't pretend to know what is going on there. Uh, whenever I see a good shadow that I like, I take it. And that's that's where I got this, is I was able to copy this box shadow uh, from a style sheet. Uh, but basically, it's, it's giving different colors at different... Uh, pixel locations and so it just kind of fades um, out into a, like a shadow I guess if that makes sense so here um, RGB is black at a 0.2 alpha 0.14 alpha 0.12 alpha so it's just kind of fading out border radius giving us curved edges on the on the card um, instead of uh, corner curved corners I guess uh, instead of uh, pointy corners and then the um, the color of the text, I probably don't need that guy because um, I'm already setting the color elsewhere uh, on my body. And so transition is a Bezier curve. Again, I copied this. Uh, and then background color is white uh, in order to make it pop a little bit. The other thing I want to add is a card content wrapper. Um, so I'll make a new export here called card content which will also be a div and this is just going to add some padding to my card so that the text isn't right up on the edge so padding 16 pixels or i guess i could have done um, one rem right that'd probably be the better thing to do one rem all right, so finally we need to import our card styles and then add our cards, uh, our card wrappers to the JSX. So I'll add a new import. We're bringing in card and card content from uh, backup to, I believe, styles 
card. And so down here in the JSX, I will add card instead of these fragment tags. And then inside here, I can add card content. Copy and paste, or cut and paste the end tag, tab this out, and now let's take a look. And you can see that the background is uh, off-white like we wanted. We have a card with rounded edges, and it has a shadow box around it. So uh, doing great. So next time, what we'll do is we'll uh, tailor these buttons, because we've lost the color of these buttons. We zeroed it out um, on the global styling. Um, we'll add it back in and use some JavaScript to figure out which colors we want based on the value inside it. All right, so I'll see you next time.